Hey YouTube, this is Treasured Model Horses and this is my 2023 Briar Collection Tour. I have models everywhere in my life, so at the end I will do a little snippet of kind of my randoms and just kind of where they live. So let's get started. And up here we have my O'Leary's Irish Diamonds. I keep my big boys up here because they don't quite fit in these shorter shelves. Um, next we have my Briarfest Special Run model, another Briarfest Special Run model. Um, these are the only guys I have on this mold. Then we have the Othellos. We have my Rainbow Guy, Decorator, Phoenix, Mariah's Boone, Winter, and Windurst, my Custom. On this shelf, we have my Peterstone Ponies. Um, I know this one's Angel and this one's Snow Blizzard. And then we have my favorite Briar mold probably, which is Bouncer. And I have an icicle, glossy icicle with a little cute halter I made for him. A Hope, the original Bouncer, and a Brookside Pink Magnum, and Gingerbread. And then I also found Applejack uh, this past Briar Fest. These are the 2020 Briar Fest Special Run models, Rapunzel. The Peterstone Arabian Conga that I have. Um, I know this one's Autumn something moon. <laughs> and then this one's like, I think, a custom that someone commissioned. Um, through Peterstone. And then I believe this one's Picasso and this one I've named Elusive and he's glossy and gorgeous and one of my favorites. <laughs> um, these guys are my strapless models. I'm not a massive fan of this mold but I think it looks very nice tacked up and this is all messed up but... <laughs> This is Steel, my last year's brick and mortar special model. And next to him is my Tennessee Walker Peter Stones, Jet Propelled and Muddy Buddy or something, I think is his name. Palomino Thoroughbred Peter Stone. On the third shelf, we have Milton and Brahms on the Big Ben mold, Paint Me a Pepto, Kenzel and Sirius on the Bobby Joe mold. And over here, I have some of my big boys because of the shelf height. I have Benelli in Glossy, um, a Peter Stone signed, I believe, um, and this is Buttered Rum, and we have a Bear, which was a Collector Club model, and then I have my Glossy Theo and my Matte Theo. On the fourth shelf down, I have Thunder and Reverence, a Briarfest model. Um, Romeo, a brick and mortar special, and Pepto Booms Mole. And here I have the Arabian Unicorn. I'm not even sure what her name is, but I absolutely adore this mold. And Omega is, despite being a regular run, is one of my favorite models that I have in my collection. Um, next I have my Snowbird, who is super wonky. He's slightly deflated, an Ansel and Morgan Quest. On the last row, I have my Lady Phases, and this is the Vintage Blanket Appaloosa. Um, I'm not sure what this one's named, Jolene, which was the TSC Briar model, and then the ELCR Benefit model that I got in Virginia. I have a video on the woman store that I got her from if you're interested in shopping there potentially. And then the Palomino Pinto on the Lady Face mold. And next I have a Glossy to Sealy and the Briarfest 2017 model. He's waiting to be customized at some point. And here I have my little sets, the Secession and La Fire, I believe and the unicorn that they released recently on that mold as well. And then these guys, the Cascade and Caspian and Altair. That's a view of this row. I have Mark of Charm, my glossy Landler that I pulled in the second chance sale. 
um, kind of just a random full, my glossy, I don't even know what his name is, um, my Winx, who's all bundled, and Hollywood Done It, and a random Peter Stone model. A lot of this might be, like, repetitive because I haven't gotten too many new horses since my last collection video, but it's they're all set up differently, so I kind of felt I needed a new video on my collection. So in here is my Stablemate Congas. This is not all my Stablemates. I have a ton. These are just the ones I enjoy the most because it's a space issue. But So we have Bretzel from Briarfest, then all of, I believe that's the Magnolia mold. I'm not really familiar with the Stablemate molds. I just, if I like it, I get it. So <laughs> the Thoroughbred mold and then whatever that mold is. But I have a nice little conga going. And up top is kind of where I keep my custom collecta because I don't actually have the space to leave out all of my collecta. So these guys get to be oh. special and stay out. So there's those guys. There's a little overview. Back over in here, I kind of store like new inbox models. So on this shelf, I'll just go ahead and do an overview of the shelf. This is kind of like my more of like my childhood horses that I have. Um, I have my glossy collector club model, another rearing one back in there, Shasta Moon, the Rain molds, um, Rain and I believe Liberty. And then I have both the Spirits, the newer Spirit and the original 2002 one. And here is Wapiti is his name. The Briarfest celebration model is going to be on that mold, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I'm interested to see how they do. <laughs> Little Ricky's Rocker is next to him, and I believe she... And then on the bottom shelf is just, you know, more of my randoms. I have my Christmas models, um, Seabiscuit, and Northern Dancer. We have the Just a Dream and Kong. And over here in these boxes are just storage for my Collecta and my stable mates. I wanted to also show my barn that I got semi-recently for real cheap, so I had to get it. <laughs> Even though I have no use for it, it's just taking space in my room. But it's pretty and I've always wanted it, so I have the, um, Big checks to cash, my sign Nicholas, and then Jester that I actually found at McKay's recently. And then here we have my barn that I actually did have growing up um, that was being displayed at my store for a while and then it started taking up too much space. So it's back here and I'm, I might be getting rid of this one. <laughs> up top I have a new in box chance um, that just hasn't really found a home yet and I kind of wanted to give an overview. Um, so this is like, I put my sale horses in here, this, this chest. I'm like really into like vintage Victorian, like antique stuff, but yeah, that's why I have a very extra, extra wardrobe. So in here, I like, this is where I have like my Etsy stuff. Like all of my drawers are like full of like shipping stuff. But it's not really a thing anymore because that was what I did during COVID. But I do occasionally sell models on Etsy um, outside of like my store and like my brand and whatever. So um, yeah, and these are those guys meant for that purpose. I just haven't really gotten around to like posting them. Um, so yeah, that's in here. And then I also save my briar boxes because I love shipping <laughs> people briars in the briar box. And this is just like an overview, like the models are all tucked over here in this like little nook in my room. And I wanted to add these guys, um, more randoms. Like I said, I just have like models everywhere and I don't know where to put them. I am very in love with this guy. Briar did a really good job on him. He, he looks great and he's probably going to stay out just cause he looks, he looks great with my furniture too. <laughs> This is my glass case kind of at the top of our stairs 
and I just have more like random horses that aren't really in a conga. I have my vintage donkey, my vintage bull, another vintage model, and some deers. I will just show you. These are just more random models, but also I like to keep my Alboroso in here so that he stays nice and safe. I don't even risk standing him up. He kind of just like lays on a nice little pillow made out of bubble wrap. And there's my glossy Heartbreaker and Gigi Valentine. Um, my... I don't, I forget what that one's name is. I don't know why, but I can't think of it. Um, got him at Briarfest, and I plan to show him, hopefully, this June. Um, and then, don't know her name. Don't know her name. This is Baxter, I know that one. And the full to that model, and then, yeah, those guys. Tony the Pony and Bugs Malone. We love him. <laughs> I also have more kind of random variety horses up in here. We have Voyeur, Cedric, the original like Andalusian, Smoke and Mirrors, Sado, the Appaloosa Twins, and then the original like Amber and I forget the other name. Newsworthy, not sure on his name. More Arabians, Misty and Stormy. Emma, the Halloween pony, another bouncer, the Mustang, and the miniature molds, as well as a Merry Legs back in the back. Just a little overview. And I store some of my boxes there in the corner. Another new in box, Brookside Pink Magnum, and new in box, um, Arabian Classic. I don't have many, but I wanted to include some of my models at my boyfriend and I's apartment. So I have some up top on our kitchen cabinets and I have Esprit, the Marin Full set from Briarfest and my barn that I painted that was in my last collection tour, um, Zeke and another bearing and then the Maelstrom Halloween model. They're all up here in the kitchen. So continuing the theme of having briars kind of everywhere in my life, this is now my closet at my apartment. And so these guys are new in box. I also have some more kind of just random models down here. Also in my closet is my tortoise. Unrelated, but I thought I would include my pets. <laughs> as well as my pets out here, we have my finch fry and finch kiss. Dolly and Tuck. I also wanted to include an overview of my computer setup. So this is like where I do my editing for my videos and various other things. And so I have a model on top of my PC and I just think she looks really nice. She kind of matches. And then I got little minis over in here and then some briars, so. Thank you for watching my Briar 2023 collection tour. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know any content you're interested in seeing. Thanks.